Hey plant fam, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is not my jungle, it's my car. If you're not new here, thank you for coming back. I look like a mess right now, you guys. I'm sorry, I was just in the gym. And um, Mom, now we're at Moss Grillo's. Sorry, I'm like high on endorphins right now. Um, it's like literally right down the street from my gym. So I figured we would stop in and see what they have. The last time I was here, they did have some cute like philodendrons and alocasias and stuff like that. So I'm going to spare you from having to look at my face right now. And um, let's go see what they have. We're not allowed to buy anything because I don't have any money. But I figured a little stroll through the greenhouse. Never hurt anybody, right? It's been a while since we've been here. They tend to be a little bit overpriced, but you just need to understand the market value of plants so you don't pay too much, really, is what it comes down to. Because not all of their plants are overpriced, but like some of them are. So, you know, it is what it is. It's close. It's literally the closest nursery to me. So sometimes I just like to come here and wander around. I usually don't film it because it's like me time. <laughs> and sometimes I just want to go plant shopping without having to film it. But I figured today we would film it. So I'm gonna shush. Let's go see what they have. It's literally a gorgeous day. Okay, so it's a thousand degrees in here. Holy crap. This just caught my eye as soon as I walked in, because like, do you do you see what I'm do you see what I'm seeing? Like this thing has always been massive, but Holy shit, look at this leaf. This leaf is literally like the size of me. You guys, can you see it? It's legitimately the size of my body. Like I'm trying to get it <laughs> in the frame with me. Oh shit, I'm fine. Like, what? thing is like stunning holy crap you guys I mean it's literally looks like it's infested with mealybugs I don't know if you could tell or something powdery mildew looks like mealybugs gives me the heebie-jeebies they definitely need to uh, take care of that I don't know if you could see it ah, it's really gross but the new growth is stunning. Stunning, sorry, had you zoomed out too far. Like, this leaf is like a canopy. I can live under here. Okay, let's go look at the rest of the plants. So, there's just some assorted stuff here, some desert rose, Madagascar, palms, some little snake plants. Um, I don't know what this is. Yucca? Yucca? Maybe? Something like that. Some snake plants. Some euphorbs. And these crazy looking things. What even are you? Agave. Okay. Kind of figured, but I wasn't sure. Some aloes and hoarthias over here. More snake plants. They have some really nice um, pottery too, but they usually keep their house plants over here. They switch it up. So like last year they had them over here and they all just, I don't know if you guys remember from watching my videos, all of them just like roasted in the sun here because it gets brighter light on this side. So they got smart and <laughs> put the house plants on this side this year which is good because they're not all just completely roasting in the sun. Cyclamens are really pretty. Just your usual stuff. Oh, these are so cute. These little blooms. This is what mine looks like, the purple flowers. But these are really cute flowers. I like that one. I don't need it, but it's cute. Um, some creepy bromeliads, lilies, 
And then over here we have some Japonica, Fatsia Japonica, variegated ones. Well, this is like the spider web one. There is like a legit variegated one that has more like marble variegation, if that's what you want to call it. 30 bucks. Got a little, not little, some really gorgeous Stromanthi Trio Stars for $40. So I don't know if you guys know that there's a variegated version of this. I mean, it is, it's already got its own like little sectoral variegation, but there's literally another variegated one. And uh, you'll probably be seeing it soon. Just saying, spoiler alert. <laughs> um, there's just like cacti and stuff over here. We can swing back around and look at that some peperomias here. We've got watermelon peps, some caparatas, some piccolo banda for 15. I think they're really cute, shoe me red. I just can't keep them alive. Um, I do like the raindrop though. I think it's really cute. I forget the botanical name of that one. Got a Diefenbachia, Aglionema. I don't know, I get them confused. One has like shinier leaves usually. Aglionemas don't have shiny leaves? I don't know. You know what? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Diefenbachias, I think, have shiny leaves. Anyway, cute Calathea Zabrina for $12.99. This is where I got mine. My little babe <laughs> with her crispy leaves. These ones don't look as crispy as mine, but. I don't have her in high humidity, I just have her in the regular, regular humidity, so. Yeah, these are really pretty. Anyway, um, this one is super cute too, but it, I don't love the growth pattern. Calathea White Star for 60. I just think the leaves are really pretty. More Calatheas over here. Don't know the names of these ones. I think this is Medallion, maybe. 25. Makoyana, one of my favorites. You guys, mine is huge, massive, gorgeous, beautiful. And hopefully my Orgifolia is not far behind. She is thriving in the bedroom. I'm very excited to have my shelves up soon. Shelves. Who <laughs> said shelves? My shelves up soon so that um, I can like display them all a little bit better. So, got some cute ficus triangularis. This is a really big bush. It's probably expensive, $200. Holy crap, that's a lot. Um, some philodendrons that I don't know the name of. Some really gorgeous fiddles here though. I'm sorry, I'm trying to talk a lot. I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm talking fast because they do have a little bit of music going, but I feel like if I keep talking, it shouldn't pick up on it. 20 bucks for these Pilea Peperomioides. More massive Monsteras over here. Like they have some really gorgeous ones. Look at how big that is. And then yes, this is an Aglionema. This is the Silver Bay. That I do know, right? This is 130 for this massive thing. And then these are Diefenbachia. So the Diefenbachia leaves are not shiny. This one's really cute. And the Aglionema leaves are shiny. This is an Aglionema, this is a Diefenbachia. I just, I tend to get them confused when they're not like side by side. Do you know what I mean? And they look different, but they're stuck. So, some more cute Ags over here. I don't know what this one is, but it's really cute. It looks like a Maria, but this is, or a Maria or a Commutatum, I think is like the proper name for it these look different or is this a Diefenbachia you know what <laughs> I don't freaking know this is an Aglionema she's cute I have a thing for Aglionemas um I love this one this is the cutlass look at how gorgeous that is oh wow you're stunning I want you <laughs> 30 bucks that's not a bad price I feel like I just saw mealybugs though I'm like on high alert for mealybugs these days because, yeah, look, 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 in there. See it? Not a big deal. They just are like literally taking over my plant collection and I'm 
very frustrated with them so I am going to order some ladybugs and I don't care who <laughs> doesn't like ladybugs flying around in the apartment this is stunning absolutely stunning but it's way too big for our space but that's part of what makes it so stunning really with this song um, some really gorgeous calacaceas over here and so look at this ficus look at these ficus look at that look at these calacaceas calacacea whatever however you're supposed to say it insane those are insane I would love to be able to grow these outside that's crazy I can't believe they just had that song on bum, bum, bum. hopefully you couldn't hear it though Justina uh, Kiwi this is like one of my favorite ones I would love to get a big one one day when we have a house oh there's mealybugs on here too you guys everything in here has mealybugs what is happening they need ladybugs so I was thinking about getting ladybugs and nematodes because the nematodes just like go into the soil and like eat the larva of like the fungus gnats and uh, stuff like that. So I don't know. I thought it might be fun to get both. <laughs> bum, bum. I can't. I am so good. So good. Anyway, um, here's some moss over here that's like looking kind of weird and straggly. Asparagus fern. It's not moss. It's a fern. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. Oh crap. Oh, you're beautiful. 70 bucks is not even a bad price for that. It says red secret i don't oh there's fungus knots everywhere i don't know what that means this is an alocasia cupria this fucking song okay i think they finally turned off the song and then they're just gonna play another one it's fine but that one was like very easily distinguishable so i was trying to um talk over it look at this new leaf you guys i know this isn't everybody's favorite plant the sinuses fused together but it's so cute. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. We have some black velvets, the melanos over here. They've been here for quite some time. 45 on these, which isn't a terrible price, but you see what's going on? They've just like spread to everything, so that's not good. And this soil, what is this soil, you guys? Anyway, we've got some pink dragons over here some really big ones for 38 i feel like i want to rescue this because i feel bad for it but i don't want it i already have one um it's not this gorgeous but it is <laughs> it's just a rhizome but um it'll be fine oh yeah yeah all of i'm trying not to buy allocations anymore because they really really annoy me sometimes hello beauty some little baby pitcher plants oh my god they have a bunch of them look at them you guys that new leaf is insane that's in that's insane that's crazy i'm gonna have to come back for one of these when i get paid like that's insane that's in that's insane i don't need it but that's insane some philodendrons over here
there was really loud copyright music over there, so hopefully you can't hear it anymore. But they have some cute little philodendron jungle boogies for only 20 bucks. Um, these don't look like my jungle boogie, so I don't know if this is actually a jungle boogie or if it's a different type of philodendron. They usually have more narrow leaves than this. Um, either way, it's gorgeous, so does it really matter? And then, wait, uh, do they really seriously have varicosum right here? What the hell? $42 for these little baby varicosums. This is one of my favorites, you guys. She like really genuinely thrives in my greenhouse. Some of these are looking a little bit beat up, but really, really cute. One of my favorites for sure. Highly recommend if you don't have one already. Look at how cute little fuzzy petiole. Um, I mean, that's a, an okay price for like getting it in person. I think I imported mine or no, 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 mine was a cutting from a friend. I grew it from a cutting a while back, I think. Did I? You know what? I don't remember. But they do grow really, really quickly. It's a philodendron, so. Cute. That's nice to see. Like, they definitely have a good variety of less common plants that you would find in a, a nursery. And they're mostly reasonably priced. Look at that leaf. Gorgeous. Oh no, you know what? I got my varicosum at Paul's and Sandy's from Karen. I just remembered. I got one cute leaf for like 30 bucks. So 42, 43 for like a, a rooted plant isn't bad um, at all. But that was almost a year ago. I got it like right around my birthday and she's grown into like a really gorgeous plant. You guys have seen her in the greenhouse, but I am gonna do a, a little greenhouse tour. I know you guys wanna see everything that I have up in there, so I'm just kinda still cleaning her and reorganizing, so. These philodendrons are huge. These are the Macaulay's Finale, or Black Cardinal. I don't know, they all look the same to me. 62, cute. Very, very cute. I like when they get big like this, but you guys know this is not my favorite type of philodendron in the way that they grow. Um, they have some really nice pink princesses over here with some decent genetics for 60. Um, people definitely have been finding these in the big box stores for $20. <laughs> okay, Costa Farms. But they don't have high variegation. So there's that. I bought mine. I think I paid like 80 for mine, but she has like the most gorgeous genetics. This one put out like an all pink leaf. This one's got a bunch of pups around the base too, so it wouldn't be a bad investment plant. She just doesn't have the best, the best genetics. Mine come out really, really pink and I'm not mad about it. That's literally the only reason why I bought her because I don't really like the way they look otherwise. So, ooh, there's that. Some more philodendrons over here. And I just like, I can't get over that. That's, I don't know if that was here last time or if I just didn't notice it because it was kind of tucked away and I tend to move pretty quickly. Some cute little syngoniums, little pink ones. Yeah, I'd bring you back over here because this is where they keep their Hoyas and everything. What are you? Way I? Yeah. I don't know. Those leaves come in pretty dark. But yeah, it looks like a Way I. 25 for these. Hindu rope. We've got some little Australis. Curtisii. Some cute little queens. These are really nice queens. Carii. Some pubicalyx and that's that's really it for the Hoyas sometimes they have hanging ones so they've got some really nice hanging princesses
Okay, fam, so that was Mascarillo's, and they did not disappoint. They have had some of those philodendrons and things for a little while. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to show you, and I was curious to see if they had gotten anything new because it has been at least like a week or two before, before, since I've been here. I need to go eat food. <laughs> I'm like, my brain after a workout like doesn't really work properly. I mean, it doesn't really work properly other times. But can you believe that alocasia? Those alocasia, I should say. Holy crap. I don't need one, nor do I have anywhere to put one, but they are gorgeous. Oh, there's a little baby spider on my window. It's really cute. I don't know if you'll be able to see it here. Oh, oh, there he is. Look at him. Sorry, I know not everybody likes spiders. I don't, I don't like them on me. <laughs> I like to look at them. Um, anyway, so yeah, I can't believe they had a varicosum. That was a really good price. I can't believe that they had like all of those plants. Like those alocasia were huge. Those monstera were huge. It's a real bummer that a lot of their plants had mealybugs, but, um, I learned my lesson. I don't tell people anymore. <laughs> I don't want to get an attitude when I'm just trying to help. So unless I know the people that own the nursery, I just shut up now because like, we don't need to deal with that again. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It was, it's really hot in this car. Let me just open the door. Woo! It's a beautiful day. Like absolutely gorgeous, stunning, perfect weather. It's like low 70s, I think, and breezy but sitting in the car is a little <laughs> roasty toasty. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna head home and take a shower, eat some food, and I have plant mail. There's plant mail waiting for me. So we're gonna film some unboxings, and yeah, I got lots of fun content coming for you guys. So stay tuned. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss anything, and you know, so that you can get your get my videos in your feed so you don't miss any of the stuff coming up we are uploading every day now so except for like Tuesdays those are for members only videos so if you want to be part of the official plant fam there is a join button down there hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me I'm all jumbled up today but it's okay you guys know my spiel and uh yeah there's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me and donate a few dollars to my channel so that I can buy another varicosum. <laughs> I don't need one. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I mean, I can buy some and like um, chop them up for you guys if you want, but there's that. So they're really easy to propagate. Anyway, I appreciate you fam. And I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.